All right. Important things about atoms is they have a nucleus, which is made up of protons, which are positively charged, and neutrons don't have a charge. And around the nucleus, they have their shells, which are where the electrons hang out. They're the bits we're going to be looking at because they're doing the hard work. Now, important thing to keep in mind is with the shells in the first layer, there's two of them. Second one, eight, third one, eight, and so on. All right, first we'll do hydrogen. So at the top, it's number one. It's because it's got one proton as its nucleus and one electron in its outer shell. Carbon, six neutrons, six protons in its nucleus, and it has six electrons. Two on the inside, and the remaining four go on the outside. Last one, oxygen. Eight protons, eight neutrons, and it's got eight electrons in the outer shell. So that's two in the first one and six in the outer one. Okay, let's have a look at how we get the infamous CO2. Alright, carbon dioxide, and to save time, we'll just do a whole circle as the nucleus with the letter so you know which one it is. And remember, nucleus are the protons and the neutrons. And we gotta have a look at how the electrons behave. All right, here's the thing with atoms. The whole two in their first shell, eight in their next shell, they kind of feel a bit awkward until that's complete. So they rather find a buddy who can help fill that. So carbon usually wants to find another four to complete its outer shell. And oxygen needs to find another two to complete its outer shell. So when you get one carbon and two oxygens, when they share the electrons, they all have eight in their outer shell. So that's why when you have one carbon and four hydrogen, the carbon's satisfied with its outer shell, and so is the hydrogen, because remember, they want two on the first one. These are the things that are going to kill us, guys. Woo!